Welcome back, fellow gamers, to another episode on Joystick News, where today we're delving into a topic that's been stirring up quite the conversation among the Helldiverse 2 community. It's a question that transcends just the realm of gaming and touches upon a philosophical debate. Are we the baddies? That's right, today we're talking about the moral complexity within Helldivers 2 and whether our heroes are actually the villains from another perspective. Helldivers 2, the intense top-down co-op shooter has always been praised for its challenging gameplay and the strategic depth required to tackle its missions. Players dive into hostile alien worlds, fighting for the survival of humanity and the spread of democracy, or so we've been led to believe the moral quandary. Recently, a post on Reddit sparked a significant discussion among players about the nature of the Helldivers missions. The user pointed out the sheer terror the Helldivers must invoke in the alien terminates, stating, anywhere from 120 guys just show up, slaughter hundreds of their troops, destroy several key infrastructure points, and leave in under 40 minutes. When put like this, it's hard not to see the Helldivers as invaders rather than liberators, the Terminids, victims or villains. The game tells us that the Terminids possess an instinctive urge to reproduce, spread and destroy democracy. At face value, this labels them as a clear threat to humanity and its way of life. However, delve a little deeper and you'll learn that the conflict with the Terminids escalated after humans held them captive in specialized farms, leading to an attack on civilians on Super Earth. This backstory paints the Terminids not just as mindless beasts, but as creatures fighting against oppression and for their survival. The Automatons, a clearer enemy. The game also features the automatons, robots designed with a single purpose to destroy the Helldivers and Super Earth. With corpses of Terminids found on planets occupied by automatons, it's clear that these robots are a threat to all natural life. In the fight against the automatons, the moral lines seem less blurred, presenting them as a more straightforward enemy. Reflecting on our role. This discussion brings us to a critical reflection point. What role are we playing in Helldivers 2? Are we blindly following orders, killing in the name of the greater good, or are we pawns in a larger game of interstellar politics and power struggles? It's a moment to ponder the narratives we're fed and the justification for our actions within these virtual worlds. Tools of War while you mull over these moral dilemmas, remember that the war in Helldivers 2 continues. If you're looking to optimize your approach to whichever side you find yourself on, be sure to check out the latest guides on the best weapons and armor. These guides will ensure that, at the very least, you're equipped to face the challenges ahead, moral quandaries aside. Wrapping up? So, Helldivers 2 players, next time you drop onto a planet, take a moment to consider the impact of your actions. Are you a liberator fighting for democracy or an invader wreaking havoc on alien civilizations? The answer might not be as clear-cut as we thought. That's all for today's episode. What are your thoughts on the morality of Helldivers 2? Do you see the Helldivers as heroes or as conquerors? Drop your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more thought-provoking discussions and the latest gaming news. Until next time, keep gaming and maybe, just maybe, question who the real bad guys are.